think about this? What's going on, people? This is going to be different, and it's going to be very short, and it's going to be very to the point. And these are some of the most important videos that I will ever do in the Hustler Mindset Project because they are the foundation for everything that I do. It's going to be a few different videos. First one here, why writing your goals down is most important. That will be scripting your day, scripting your day with intent, and writing out your life. It's different kind of stuff. It's something that I've done a long time, and really, it's it's the reason I'm successful. That's why I said it's the most important set of videos that I'm putting here in the Hustler Mindset Project. So with that, let's just jump into it. I have a few samples of what I do. I wrote down this piece here of creating your own economy. I wrote that down like two years ago. I wrote it on a piece of paper. If you could see <laughs> my desk, it is uh, it's kind of nuts with my work process because I'm just looking at it and it's really insane, but it works for me. It's organized chaos, as I like to call it. So I will write something now, and this is something that you have to learn how to do. When you get an idea, you can do this. If you have an iPhone, I use this a lot too. You've got the voice memo thing right there. Just click that, open it up, record whatever's on your mind. And the neat thing about that is you can email it to yourself so it's in, in your inbox when you're waiting on it. Before I started doing that, that's with the napkins and the sheets of paper and just notes all over the place. And then once a week, I would put all my notes together and I would look at it and then I would create something like the last shot, which is a task list. I would go like, well, do I need to do this? Do I need to do this? Do it? And the thing is, the most important part about this is consistency. This is the most important part of this. It's not if you're a great writer. It's not if your grammar's good. Don't worry about that. Write it down. Make sure that you write it down. Like I said, I do the voice recorder using my phone, but I also make sure to write it down. Because I've touched on these concepts before, but I've never really went deep into why it works. When you take a pen, and I will give you an example. Because I actually moved and lost it, but it doesn't matter because the goal happened. But I wrote down, and this was my contract with myself. I wrote down... I give myself two years to make it as a writer. Income goal fifty thousand. I just uh, I wrote it real quick like this. You can see that. It's just kind of like, huh. Now, this is something else. This is another part of the technique that at times boggles my mind. So, I did that, right? Wrote it down. Just the simple fact of doing that, not paying any attention, just putting it down, releases it to the universe and starts whatever needs to start happening to get activated. Now, let me tell you how to make it nice and crispy. How to make it shiny. Alright, so today is December 9th, 2013. And the time is 3.39 p.m. I am going to take my time. I'm not just going to jot it down. No, note this. And there's a book that I read a long time ago. You can change your personality by changing your writing. It's very, very powerful. Remind me and I'll, I'll find it. 
So I'm going to take my time. Okay, now it was long and drawn out, but it's for a reason. It's very important. I want you to understand. Now, if you notice, it's different. I have a date, I have the time, and I signed it. My two year goal is to become a full time writer with an income of 50000 per year. First 14 months, I made 62. So I covered my 50 for the year and was going up for the second year. This goal was written July 17th, 2009. That was the goal. Now, with the slower method, if you notice, the writing is different. I uh, actually, why did I ball this up? Because I knew I was going to have to do this. Just to show you the madness I have. But, yes, I write like a girl. I've gotten that my whole life. Especially when I was in high school. And when I use a fountain pen, it gets real interesting. So, see the difference? So when you take your time to write this stuff out and be deliberate and to concentrate and to think about it, it gives it more of a push because I don't know if I'm going to share this stuff with you, but I will give you overview because it's really, really... It's not fit. It, it's it's very radical and very provocative, and it's probably best to keep certain parts, keep that to myself. But I had a desire to have a certain experience, and to have this experience with a certain person. I took a sheet of paper, and I wrote five paragraphs of what I wanted, how I wanted it to go down. Dated it, did the same thing, this date, signed, five paragraphs in there. But I wrote it, because this will be something later that we'll touch on. But I wrote it in the present tense, as if it was happening. Not, I want it to happen. This is what's happening. Almost like a journal entry. And that's the reason it's going to be these different sections. Because to make sure you get the full benefit you need to do the first thing first. This is how I start. This is I'm telling you the stuff that I do. This is why I've created the group and why I'm just talking about different stuff. Because when I wasn't in the position mentally to accept this information, you could have taken me, held my hand, showed me everything, and came in and did, and I wouldn't have got it because I wasn't ready to accept that in my life. So some of these things will seem a little odd they'll seem a little strange but i can tell you the effectiveness rate for this stuff depending on your mindset when you make it is 70 percent to 100 percent. why is there such a variance it depends like sometimes you're writing your goal and you don't really there's this little voice that's like i don't know i don't know i don't know and that dilutes the process but when you write it down, like I wrote, having that experience, it took two weeks for that to happen. Two weeks. And I use this for a lot of different stuff. I use a, a lot of different stuff. So what I want you to do is to get in the habit of writing down your thoughts. I know it's titled, Why Writing Your Goals Down is Most Important, but your thoughts 
are the prelude to your goal. And sometimes just like I wrote that thing down on the napkin two years ago, you, you can have a brilliant idea today. You can, it could be absolutely brilliant today. But you don't have the resources to make that happen. But because you wrote it down, you can draw those resources to you. This is one of the reasons that I made the decision not to get back in the storage auction business or to get in resale. With my knowledge base, I could do Amazon FBA full time, eBay, and get up to seven figures within two to three years or sooner. However, I wouldn't sleep at night. I will say use Amazon. I'll say use eBay, but do so at your own pearl because I know what it's like to have the carpet ripped from under you. And once you get used to making certain money a certain way, it becomes very, very hard to release that. So I forego more money now for more money later because what I'm learning, because as I teach you, I teach myself. And what I'm learning is that once I get to, because understand, I don't have this together the way that I want to have it together. But I'm getting there. I will be able to make more money with less effort than I've ever made in my whole life in the coming months. That is how powerful this is. You you know, every time I do a consult, I tell people, write an income goal down. And whatever they give me, I sometimes I'll double it for them. Because there was this exercise that Tony Robbins did years ago where he asked someone to stand up, take their finger, and go as far back as they could and point to a spot on the wall. And it's like, go far, go as far as you can. Then he had them come out of the position and sit there, close their eyes, and actually see themselves going further. And he had marked a position on the wall, and he had them visualizing going further, and then they did it, and they were like, what the hell? Because we put limitations on ourselves in all areas. So what this does is it pushes you further than you think you can go, because you can go there. And the cool thing about this is it's not you know, like you don't have a half a degree. You don't have to be a genius. You don't have to be the sharpest knife in the drawer. Because understand, I'm not the smartest guy in the room. Never have been. I purposely put myself in situations where I'm not the smartest person in the room. Because it forces me to recognize that I'm not the smartest person in the room. If I woke up one day and like, I am the smartest person in the room. I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in trouble. That's how I would look at that. So what I want you to do with this is start writing down your thoughts because this is like a two-parter. You know, why writing your goals down is most important. Session one, writing down your goals is most important. Is session two, we're going to get into other stuff. Because whenever I do goal setting, people like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, 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 no. This, this, this is gospel. This, this is... This is the most critical thing that you can do to be successful. This is the most critical thing you can do. So your exercise is to write down your thoughts for the week. Write down your thoughts for the week. Whatever you have, if it's a business idea, train yourself, even if you're a mixed company, to say, hold on, and just write it down. Excuse me, write it down. Excuse me. Go into your recorder, put it in your emails, put it on your... Train yourself to capture your genius. Because you'll have a great idea and you're like, I'm going to remember that, I'm going to remember that, I'm going to remember that. And you don't write it down and something happens and you go off home or you, you have to do something and it's just gone forever. Now there's another technique. It took me a while to master. If you have something, you ever been in that situation where you're trying to remember a name and you're just like... It's like, it's, it's almost like it's a room and you just can't grab. It's weird. I've learned to say, it'll come to me. And, you know, sometimes it'll come to me in seconds or it will come to me when I'm in that position, except when I'm doing YouTube because I'm doing all these different things. But in 
one-on-one conversations or out and talking to someone, I'm like, okay, it's, it's wrong. It'll come to me. And frequently, it comes to me very quickly. Because what you're doing is you're training your mind to do what you wanted to do. Because this is what most people say. Uh, I can't remember. Okay. You can't remember. Oh, dang, it escapes me. Okay. It escapes you. That, that subtle nuance in what you say is so important. So start saying, it'll come to me. I'll figure it out. Say you spend all your money. Well, I'm going to get more money than it's coming to me. Start saying stuff like that because it's very, very important. So what I want you to do after watching this video, I want you to watch it again. Then I want you to watch it again. I want you to watch it again. And at that point, start writing down your thoughts for the week. Whatever thoughts, just write them down. Sheet of paper, voice recorder. Just start really thinking about your life, thinking about your goals, and just write it down. And then the next video, session two, I'll tell you how to put it together. All right, this is Glendon, and I will see you on the good side.